This lesson will show how to find the midpoint of a line segment, the exact middle of a line segment, and solve a couple of problems involving midpoint. Now, we need a formula first of all, and the, we're talking about the line segment that goes between the point x1, y1, that's one end of the line segment, and the point x2, y2. So we use the same kind of terminology as for the slope formula. And so to find the x-coordinate of the midpoint, we add the x-coordinates of the two ends and divide by two, and the same for the y's. Notice there's a comma here, this is a point. Notice what we're actually doing is we're averaging the x-coordinates to get the x-coordinate of our midpoint, and we're averaging the y-coordinates to get the y-coordinate of our midpoint. And this example here on the first page, we're asked to determine the midpoint of the line saying between negative 1, 2, and 5, 10. So we'll start with the formula. So the midpoint, x, comma, y is equal to the same formula as up here. Now, so the x1 plus x2, we're adding the two x-coordinates, negative 1 and 5. So negative 1 plus 5 divided by 2, comma. And for the y1 plus y2, that would be 2 and 10 added, divided by 2. So negative 1 and 5 add to 4. And 2 and 10 add to 12. And so we divide each of those by 2, and we get the point 2, 6. So that's the midpoint we're talking about. Now what it looks like on the graph, if we plot the two points, uh, here's the point negative 1, 2. And here's the point 5, 10. And so once we plot the two points, we join them with a line segment. And 2, 6 is supposed to be the midpoint, so we'll plot the point 2, 6 here. And so notice that that is the middle of the line segment. The distance from 2, 6 down to here is the same as from 2, 6 up to the 5, 10 point. Or this distance right here or this distance right here is half of the in total length. It's the exact middle of the line segment. Flipping over to page 2, in this example we're asked to find the equation of the median to point B. Now the median uh, to any vertice in a triangle is the line segment that goes from that corner to the middle of the line segment on the opposite side. So the median to B would be through B in the midpoint on the opposite, the AC side here. So we need to find where that midpoint is. Looks like it's right around here somewhere. And so we need to find the midpoint of the AC side. So there's the midpoint formula, same as on the last page. So negative 1, 6 and 6, 2 are the uh, coordinates of A and C. So negative 1 plus this 6 divided by 2. And then 6 and 2 are the Y coordinates, so we add those and divide by 2. Now negative 1 and 6 add to 5, so 5 halves. And 6 and 2 add to 8. 8 does divide evenly by 2 to get 4. Now I'm going to leave this as a fraction. I don't need to change it to a decimal. And so, let's plot our midpoint. That's the point 5 halves 4. So the line that we're talking about is the line that goes through B in that midpoint. That's the line that we're going to find the equation of. And we'll find the slope and the y-intercept, and then we'll have the equation of our line in y equals mx plus b form. So let's first of all find the slope. And so the line goes through 5, 4, and 2, negative 4. And so 4 and negative 4 are the y-coordinates, so we would go 4 take away negative 4 or the opposite way. Now 4 take away negative 4 is the same as 4 plus 4, because subtracting a negative 4 is the same as just adding that 4. And we're going to subtract 5 halves and 2 for the x-coordinates in the denominator, 5 halves minus 2. Now in order to subtract these, I would want to get a common denominator. So that's why I would take this 2 and multiply it by 2 halves. So that's going to be 4 halves. So 5 halves minus 4 halves would be 1 half. So in the denominator, 4 and 4 add to 8 in the numerator. And 5 halves minus 4 halves is a half in the denominator, 1 half. Now 8 divided by a half is the same as 8 multiplied by the reciprocal of a half, which is 2. So this simplifies to 8 times 2, or 16. And 16 should seem like a reasonable slope for that line. It is quite steep, so it's reasonable that slope is a fairly large value. Now we have the slope. We need just to find the y-intercept. So the 16 is going to go in place of m here. Now we need to find b. And we find b by substituting an x and a y value from a point that's on the line. We could use the midpoint, or we could use point b. I'm going to use point b. Negative 4 is the y, and the 2 is the x. So 16 times 2 is 32. 
And so we subtract 32 from negative 4 to solve for b. We rearrange. And so b is negative 36. So now we can write the equation of our line. y equals 16x minus 36. We put 36 in place of b here. Or we can write it in standard form by rearranging and sending everything equal to 0. And I would probably do that by bringing the y over here. Think of that way. So it would be 16x minus y minus 36 is equal to 0. That's the equation of the median to point b. And y equals mx plus b or standard form. One more example, same triangle. We're asked to find the equation of the right bisector to side AB. So this is side AB here. So the right bisector is the line that goes through the middle of this line segment. So we need to find a different midpoint. And then is perpendicular to this line. It's not the median, it's perpendicular. So let's find the midpoint of AB, first of all, using the midpoint formula. So it's A and B that we're using the coordinates of. So negative 1 and 2 are added here, divided by 2, and then 6 and negative 4. So 6 minus 4 divided by 2 here. So negative 1 and 2 is a half, or negative 1 and 2 is 1, so it's 1 over 2, a half. And 6 minus 4 is 2. 2 divided by 2, of course, is 1. So there's our, uh, our midpoint. And so we're asked to find the equation of the line that goes through that point and perpendicular to AB. Now, in order to find its slope, we'd have to find the slope of AB to know what the slope of this perpendicular line is. So let's find the slope of AB. So negative 4 subtract 6 is the difference between the y's. And then 2 minus negative 1, same as 2 plus 1 the denominator. So negative 4 minus 6 is negative 10, and 2 plus 1 is 3. So negative 10 thirds is the slope of this line. Now, we're talking about a line perpendicular to this. Remember, perpendicular slope, we would take the negative reciprocal of this. So the negative reciprocal is going to be positive because this slope is negative, and the reciprocal of the 10 thirds would be 3 tenths. So in y equals mx plus b, we would use 3 tenths for the slope of this line. I'll draw it near the end of the example here. Now, we need to find the y-intercept. We can tell the y-intercept is probably somewhere around here because the line's going like this, but we don't know exactly what it is. It's something probably between 0 and 1. Now, the way we find that is we know this point 1 half 1 is on this line. So we can substitute a half in place of x and the 1 in place of y here, and then solve to find b. Now, 3 tenths times a half will be 3 twentieths. So I would take this 1 and multiply it by 20 twentieths in order to get a common denominator. So this is 20 twentieths, and this would be 3 twentieths. So solving for b, we'll actually take this 3 twentieths. We're going to rearrange and bring it over here and subtract it from 20 twentieths to get b to be 17 twentieths. So as again, I said that b is something between 0 and 1. 17 twentieths is between 0 and 1. So that's the y-intercept. So the equation, we're going to substitute that in place of b. So the equation is y equals 3 tenths x plus 17 twentieths. That's the equation of the right bisector to b. And again, what the right bisector looks like, it looks like this. There's a line. It's perpendicular to ab. There's the perpendicular symbol. And it goes through the middle of line segment ab. And that's the end of the example.